replay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I guess we can start. Were you on Stevenson's charting session yesterday? Uh, no, I missed it. I mean, I was getting your chats about it, but I missed it. It was amazing. Like, he went over so much, like, valuable tips. It was insane. Because it's like, with his charting sessions that he does particularly for us, he really gives us a lot more sauce. That's why, like, you got to try to make them rather than what he gives on what he does. Because he gives a lot of sauce on the actual Zoom calls. Perfect. And I love it. So, yeah. Yeah, I definitely mm -hmm. Tune in. We could definitely go over this. I really want to know who Moto is, but they're not responding. So, Moto. All right. So, Stevenson also said to start on the daily, monthly, or weekly. So, we always want to start on the higher time frame. And we want to start on the higher time frame because the market is pretty much like a book. So, with a book, the, the one minute time frame is pretty much like the sentence the hours, like the chapter, and then, uh, oh, Eureka, you're not gonna really wanna be on this call right now because you haven't even gone through training, so you're probably gonna be completely- Why are you like that, though? Huh, hello? Eureka? Yeah, she's like, oh, hello? Eureka? Oh, okay. So, oh. you, yeah, like I was saying, you're gonna want to uh, look, start on the higher time frame because the time frame is like a book and the book, the higher time frame is like the overall book, the whole entire book. And the one minute is like the, the sentence or the word and the hours like the, the chapter and so on and so forth. So that's why you want to look on the higher time frame. I'm sorry, I was just messaging Eureka back to let her know to go through the email. So on the daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, you were looking at uh, your support and resistance, right? Right. Yeah. All right. So when I watched Stevenson yesterday, he because there's just so many different ways of trading, like honestly, and that's the great thing about it, because I trade so many different ways. There's so many ways I trade. I trade with support and resistance. I trade with uh. Oh, darn it. I didn't mean to do that. I trade with support resistance. I trade with trend lines and all that stuff. So I'm going to show you pretty much what um, Stevenson was going over yesterday. And I, I actually, I love the way Stevenson trades. He is one of the first people, him and Kim Torres were the first people that really started helping me make sense when it came to trading. But when it comes to Stevenson, he's a swing trader. So with him being a swing trader, that was my ultimate goal, which I'm still striving to be. Like I've, I've started into swing trading. I don't scalp at all. I'm more of like an intraday trader, which means I trade like just during the day and I kind of am done. But um, prior to that, I used to hold my trades for, for weeks. And that's what swing trading is. So with Stevenson, his zones are fairly big because he swing trades because he just doesn't have time. He likes to travel. Who wants to just, like, he knows the trade is going to go in the direction he wants because this zone to zone. So he will trade just a nice little zone, like, possibly from here to even, like, here. But I wouldn't make my zone that big. I'd probably go from here to here. I think this is a really nice one. Something like in this manner, a zone like this. So I really wanted to see your chart to see what you did to see how I can help you with your chart. But okay, the way that Stevenson would trade this is, I'm gonna remove the tools. So what he likes to determine first on the higher time frame is just the overall trend. So on this trend, we can clearly see that this is an uptrend, right? Right. Alrighty. So we can clearly see that this is a nice uptrend. So when there's a nice uptrend, he says that all we need to be looking for is for buys. We're not looking for any sales. We're not looking to, 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 to sell the pullbacks or the retracements. We are just looking for buys. So the way that he trades, he determines his, his, his flags. So I don't know if you can see, are you on your computer or your phone? Are you on your computer or phone, Marlena?
Marlena? I'm here, I'm here. Um, I'm on my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Marlena. Okay, are you still there? Yes, I am. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. because Eureka just joined, so she ha she's asking me questions, but I want her to go through the email first. As she's going through that, I can go through this session. All right, so you want to determine the overall trend on the daily time frame or whatever high time frame you're going to be looking at. So the daily, the monthly, or the weekly. So right here, we're looking at the daily, and obviously, we see an overall uptrend. The only way, like I said, you do, you'll know that it's a downtrend is when this line when price actually begins to break this line. So when price breaks this line, that's how you know that we are now in a downtrend, but overall we are still in an uptrend. So once you determine this uptrend, so like I said, Stevenson will, he has huge zones because he's a swing trader and that's what I, my overall goal is. So say my zone was here from here to here, huge zone. All right, so now we're gonna go down to our lower time frame, four hour. Oh, before that, actually, you can see this. Oh, what the heck? I meant to go on the daily. I'm sorry, my internet has been so slow because I guess there was a flood downtown and it's affecting everybody's internet. So it's just so slow. All right, so one of the things you want to determine are the flags that happen inside the market. So if you see that it's an uptrend like this, these are going to be your flags. This pullback right here would be considered a flag. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. So these are your little flags right here. So we are getting into buys once our flags are broken. And you can uh, pretty much see all this. And you're saying that like if you were not catching the buy from the bottom, this is yeah. how you would be in, get able to get in multiple times and to gotcha. the entry. Yeah, so if you didn't catch this buy from down here, yeah, you could definitely get in so many more times. So now I'm going down to my lower time frame to see what is really going on with the market right now. So let me throw this replay button on real quick. All righty, internet, just play games. Awesome. All right, so I wish this would actually do what I wanted to do. All right, so like I said, we know that this is an overall uptrend because we have our, our main trend line here. So that's what you have to always remember because you will get confused with the market when it comes to dropping to lower time frames if you're not, if you don't know where you are at in the market and where your points are. So you need to have your support and resistance zones and you need to have your trend lines. So with this trend line, we know it's an overall uptrend. So actually, let me start my replay from right here. So you can see this. Mm. Let me start it from the actual trend. All right, perfect. Here. So this was the downtrend, and I'm going to start it from the reverse, and we're going to go from the uptrend. I'm telling you, your eyes just get used to this. I, I'm telling, I'm obsessed with marking up charts. I love marking up charts. It's, <laughs> it's very therapeutic. If you have like good music playing, that's what I just said in my live. Like when I have my music going, it's so therapeutic. You're just marking up charts, knowing that the more you practice, the better. All I right. think I got so good because I just started just drawing every single trend I would see all the flag patterns. All right, so this is the start to our uptrend. This was the downtrend that the market was on, and then it broke this downtrend, okay? You see how it broke it here? Yes. Okay, so it broke here, and now you want to determine when you want to get into this trade and how you're gonna go about getting into this trade. So when the actual market breaks, when it breaks the actual line and it creates an impulsive move to the upside, like an impulsive meaning like it's something sharp, nothing that small like this. You want an impulsive move like this. Like this was a nice sharp trend up. 
okay? You want to see that move first. You don't want to just hop in the trade. And I don't want you to ever feel like, oh, shoot, you just missed your move. You missed the whole buy because more opportunities are going to come. Because once that impulsive move happens, what you're waiting for is for the flag. The flag is just pretty much the retracement. Gotcha. This is your flag, your flag coming down. So once that flag comes down to that trend line, that's a clear indication it's about the time to, to sell. So this is why you want to draw, I mean, not sell, buy. This is why you want to always draw your counter trend lines. So hold on. This would have been my counter trend line. And I'll show you exactly how you can go about getting these entries. All right, let's start there. Bam. Okay, I'm going to drop down a time frame. All right, so usually after I draw my trend lines on the daily and then I go to the four hour, I go to the one hour, but I like to get my entries really on the 15 minute because you can really see what's going on. And that's how you can really enter the trade multiple times. So now that I've got my trend line drawn, I price broke above my trend line. I know it's a buy now. It's a, a, a bullish trend. I got my flag pattern right here. Now I'm going to go down to the 15 minute really quickly. Oh, every time I go down, I forgot it takes my uh my replay off. Okay, I'll put it back on. I hate when that happens because now I gotta find my spot in the market. This is my computer's just getting so slow. It's being so slow. Sorry. It's so okay, there we go. Girl, you got me, ma. All right. So, like I said, we have this impulsive move up bro that broke our trend line. Is this where I was looking? Oh, no, that's not where I was looking. Is this because I'm on the 15 minute time frame? So now I can't really see where I was. Keep on. I'm trying to, it's taking forever to load. All right, here we are. This is where we were. Okay, great. Here's this trend that we have. It was a downtrend. I hope this is the right spot. Yeah, this is it. Cool. Great. All right. So this was a downtrend. And it finally broke our trend. I don't think this is where we were. I gotta make a line. Sorry. I hate when I go down to the 15 minute and it, it it's so many candles, you lose track of where you were. So I actually have to spot it out. Here we were, right here. I'll just put a nice big circle there so that I could see it. My internet is so bad. Like everything is just so slow. No, it's okay. Like my candles are taking forever to load. Why is this so slow?
I'm just patiently waiting here. Not even letting me go over. All right, finally, here we go. All right, this is where we were. Delete this now. I just gotta wait for the candles to actually load. Okay, cool. This is it. Awesome. So we had this downtrend here. This was our indication to that whole downtrend. Like I said, we know that it's an uptrend once our trend line is broken. So our trend line was broken here, and this is now how you can start getting your entries and determining how you really want to go about entering the market. Like GBB pairs, that's the only thing that they say as a newbie, you shouldn't be trading GBB pairs because it's a uh, very uh, strange. Like the market moves weird, especially with GBB pairs. They move very like up and down. So it's the one the one pair that has structure is euro usd but i just i'm not a fan of euro usd i'm just not a huge huge fan of it but all right so now that the market has broken structure mm -mm. now that the market has broken its structure it broke above you're gonna always want to determine where the next pullback is so once you get this big impulsive move up this is your pullback this this little right here this is going to be your flag so every time you see a flag, so like I said, if this is an uptrend, you're looking to only buy. So when the market is going up and then you see a downtrend forming, that is your flag and that's your indication to say, okay, let me pop on, plop on a counter trend line because I know that this is just the flag forming. And once your candle breaks out of that flag, you can then enter the trade. So if I saw this, it broke our main, main trend line here. It created this impulsive move. And then the pullback started forming, meaning that it was the opposite, doing the opposite of what it was doing because it was a buy trend. So now this, this mini sell happened. You're going to draw your, tr your counter trend line. Once that counter trend line is actually broken, I'm really no educator here. So I might be speaking a little too fast. Or if, you, if there's something you're not catching, t please let me know because I, I really do just kind of go fast and I don't realize. So when this is broken, you would get in for that buy. So this was broken and I would have gotten to this buy and you would have started catching all these. But on top of that, you can enter multiple times. So you could have gotten in right here, right after this candle formed. Then you saw that there was an uptrend and then another counter trend. Once you see, like I told you, every time it starts going the opposite way, you plop on a counter trend. You could have gotten on the, on the break of this too. Then you got this little consolidation going on, nothing really going on like at all. And you could have entered again, plop a counter trend line on. Once it was broken right here, you would have entered. You would have had some pullback on this one because if you would have, it would have came down a few pips. Let's see how many pips that was. So how would you know when to enter the trade? I mean, will this stuff already happen or will this stuff not have happened? I'm what do you okay so say this didn't happen if i saw this break of the trend line as soon as i saw this i would get into the trade so now i'm i'm in the trade right it's going i'm in the trade i'm in the trade i'm just gonna let it ride i'm in the trade that was even a minor pullback you could have claimed like this was another pullback I would have claimed myself. As soon as I see candles going the opposite color, I always, why is it not paused? What? Okay, it's not even pausing. Okay, yeah, here we go. As soon as I saw this, this uh, a pullback, I always would put a counter trend. So this small little pullback right here, I would have put a counter trend right there. As soon as this candle broke above it, I would get in for a buy. Because we're only looking for buys until our overall trend is broken. And this is our overall trend right here, this main trend line. And that's why you have to have different colors so you can know what your overall trend is. is. 
So I think I'm a little bit confused when you say enter into the trade. So are we watching this all go down and then entering accordingly? You're watching for your entry points. So if you got into, okay, so for example, this is when it, when it comes to trading, you have to have your charts already marked up. So say it was Sunday and I marked my chart up and this is all that was there. None of this had happened. Right. And this was Sunday. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to find that entry. So you're going to want to keep checking your chart every once in a while to see where oh, a pullback has happened okay. because you're waiting for the pullback to form. Because you, if you, you're not going to, you're not, you don't have to stare at your chart, but you're going to want to check. I always check my charts. I check on my phone just to see what's forming and I don't like to miss my trades. So if I see this happen on Sunday, I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait for that pullback to form so I can get into the trade once the pullback, gotcha. break mm -hmm. my pullback. So once I actually see a pullback start forming is when I draw my trend line. And that's where I could set my alert for the break of the trend line. If you don't have that pullback, you can't set that, that counter trend. Okay, perfect. I think that you cleared it all up. That's where I was getting confused at. Perfect. So that's why you can get in multiple times because if you miss the first pullback, for example, let's let this ride out. Quite slow here. Da -da. Do -do 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 this thing is going pretty darn slow. I feel like I'm actually watching the market right now. Okay. It usually goes faster. I just sped it up. That's so strange. Why it's going so slow. Like all this is small consolidation. So we don't even care about this right now. We're waiting for that nice impulsive move down. To, so that we can start forming our flag. So if you were to check this in a few hours, nothing would have happened. So you would have been like, okay, nothing's ready yet. I have no flag formation, no pullback, no nothing to indicate. It's time for me to get in this trade. This thing lied and said it was gonna go faster and didn't. Okay. Sorry, it's just going slow. I thought it would be faster. Goodness gracious. So I'm assuming that's why they had that you can mark up the chart in the MetaTrader app, I'm assuming, so you can draw that line. When yeah, I just use my TradingView app on my phone. Gotcha. I don't really use Meta. I don't like MetaTrader. It just, it's not the same. So all righty right here, like even as you start seeing stuff like this, like if I start seeing this downtrend form, as soon as I start seeing even any like, oh, see, it was supposed to pause. I guess I didn't press it. Oh my goodness. It should be paused. Anyways, all righty, computer. Oh my goodness, it's not my computer, it's the internet. It's been so bad, it's been driving me insane. It doesn't want to cooperate with me.
patient. What was that? Hey, Patrick. Patrick, can you to be patient? I'm trying to get on here. No, my internet has been really bad because there was a flood downtown or something, and they said the internet's going to be slow. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. No, there's nothing yet. Are you telling yourself to be patient? I see. I... No, my screen. I... No, I'm telling you. No, it's been on this screen since the past three minutes. It was supposed to. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I finally get this. I never seen it before. Seen what? I did, this is the first time I'm seeing this. It was just blank for a while. Oh, for oh. Me. no, yeah, it's just been there. So if I want to get this on my computer, um, because I'm using my cell phone, I'm just clicking on the link you sent me. I put it in my computer, but it didn't work. Do you have um, you download it on I, your computer? I have Zoom already. So it should work, or just put in the, the ID number then. Okay, all right. Oh my goodness, now I gotta get back to my spot. It's, it, this internet is just making it so bad. It's so slow, like you see, I, I pressed one hour two seconds ago and it still hasn't gone anywhere. All right, here we are, we're over here. Do, 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 do. I'm sorry, Marlena. This thing is just really slow. No, it's okay. <laughs> I understand. It's just like driving me insane. And then Zoom always makes my computer a little slower. So with Zoom and on top of the internet being slow, it's not a it's not mixing well. Okay, gotta be patient here. All right, awesome. I'm so mad I didn't go to the gym today. I'm probably just gonna go still right now. All right, here we are finally back to our area where we need to be. Okay, what just happened here? I just need these candles to uh, get with it. What? Every time I... Okay, I'll just wait then. I'll just wait for these candles to form. Yay! Nope, that's not it. Here it is. This is where we were, right? Yeah. All right. 10 minutes, okay. Uh, replay button. Okay, so, like I said, after this impulsive move and you get this retracement down, that's where you're going to want to start drawing your counter trend. Because once this trend is broken, that's going to be your indication to get in. But if you miss this, 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 um, this flag forming back down this way it's okay because there's other opportunities to enter in the trade so that's what we're pretty much just going over so like i said you have to check your trade just to see where um these flags are being formed but like i said if you miss it there's always more flags so let's play this right now so as a new trader As a, oh, I'm sorry. Patrick, you got to mute out your um, background. No, okay. that's, that's my daughter. I do apologize. So as a new trader, would you advise just having one pair like this? And you know how we marked our uptrend at the beginning and then just check back daily? I mean, check back throughout the day? Um, definitely having one or two because if you're looking at too many trades, you're going to miss all your entries because you're looking at 105 things. If you look at one or two pairs, you're yeah. least likely to miss it because you can find all the other entries. I don't know what's going on with this replay, but it's not working. Every time I press pause, it's still going. So it's kind of defeating the purpose here of what I want to do. Everything. Did I miss anything? What'd you say? Did I miss anything? 
Um, you missed the beginning. The session ends in 10 minutes. I don't, Zoom only gives me 40 minutes. Is it, have, is it recorded? It is recorded. I pu I'll put it on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, actually. Oh, I did this last time and it froze. I think it's the replay button that's freezing my camp, my my thing. You see, now it's frozen again. Yeah, every time I I click this this button, it freezes. Uh, do you want to exit? Yes. Oh, that didn't help. This is so bogus. I really want to show you. I'm sorry, Patrick. My internet is really bad this uh, time around because like I said, we had a flood downtown and it's affecting everyone's internet. So my internet's never really this slow. It's so Darling, we'll do it again. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to ask a question. Go for that, it. With the, the, the British pound US dollar, if you could bring it up again, when you had that two huge candles going um, for a buy, what time of the day was that? Let's see. Was I here? Yeah. All righty. I got to wait for it to load. Oh, actually, I can still see. Mm. Oh, sorry, hold on. All right, this one was at ten AM. Okay. Yeah, this happened at 10, 10 a.m. All right, so I guess I'm not going to put my replay because it's not working. Every time I click it, it freezes it. All right, so like I said, this is going to be your overall buy because you missed the beginning of the, the session, Patrick, but I always start my time charts on the daily time frame. Mm -hmm. I always start marking them up on the daily time frame just to get the overall trend. And the overall trend here is a buy. It broke its um, overall sell, and here's the break of the sell, and now it's the indication that you can get in for the buy. But before you just jump in for the buy, you always wanna wait for a few things. You wanna wait for an impulsive move up. This was this impulsive move up, and once that impulsive move happens, there's always going to be a, a correction. So this is the correction. It's called your flag, your flag pattern. So this was your correction here. So once you have this correction, you're now, your indication to get in the trade is once a candle breaks out of that. So as this candle broke out, this is where I would have entered into this trade. Why? Because it broke out of my flag. It gave me the indication that now I can get in for the buy. Because you don't want to get into it until you have confirmation that your flag has been broken to the upside. This is my flag. Because if you got in for a buy and say this flag just kept going on down, keep just coming on down, you would have lost money. You always want to wait until your flag is broken. So why, why, why are you going that high? Why not go in just as it breaks the line? You, well, it can. It just depends on the candle. It's just that this candle happened to push up that high. So some okay. candles are push up here. I would get in there, but this one was a big one. So you probably felt like you missed a lot, but you didn't miss a lot because they're so, it's, it's going up so high. Okay. But usually some candles, they, they close like right down here, but this one just happened to push really high. If I saw this, I would have been a little sad, like, dang, I missed a little bit of pips, but it's okay. Okay, so now you would get into this trade. So now, like I was telling Marlena, if you would have missed this flag pattern, there's always more flag patterns to come to get in for more entries. So here, let me zoom in a little. All right, let me move this. All right, so here, once you say you got in here or say you missed this flag pattern, after, like I said, after each impulsive move, there's always gonna be some sort of retracement. Right here, it wasn't a really big retracement, but I still would have used this as a, a small little flag pattern. As soon as I see that 
the trend is coming in the opposite way, I automatically start drawing my counter trend lines. <clears throat> automatically. So here was a, a small little pullback. I would have drawn a counter trend and I would have entered right at the break of this candle. You would have had some drawdown, but your overall take profit is up here. That's where you're going. Yes. So then um, here, uh, and this is how you're going to be able to get multiple entries. So like I told you, Marlena, if you would have missed that entry here, you could have gotten here. And then if you would have missed this entry here, you could have gotten after the break of this flag pattern. After every pullback, this is the pullback. Anything going in the opposite direction of your overall trend. Our overall trend is a bullish trend. So anything opposite of that, which is a bearish trend, like coming down, you already know that's going to be your retracement or your flag pattern. So once so I, when, here, I got can, it from the buy. Could, can you repeat that? You said if there's a retracement, it's a flag pattern? Because that's where I am having a bit uh, want to yeah, figure all, out. They're all the same words. Flag pattern, retracement, pullback, it's all the same. And they're interchangeable. So, so after uh, going up, after right here, right the flag, the, the, right he, here? No. Right here? Yes, from here. Mm -hmm. This is, um, you're going to buy here, right? Yeah. And then as it turns around, retrace, is that a flag? This is a flag right here. Because I was thinking that it's just going, it's, it's a way of um, changing direction. Getting like the trade changing. going down to a, no. a sell. You don't want it. That's not your overall trend because, oh, I'm sorry, Marlena, what were you going to say? Oh, no, I was wondering. So if you were to enter in multiple times, do you close them all at once? No, this is what is called stacking your trades. Oh, when it comes to closing, you can close them all at once, but you don't have to close them as you're entering new trades. Gotcha. Yeah. So um, to answer your question, Patrick, we determined our overall trend on the daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, why is it so slow? Oh, it's not slow. It's just over here. On the daily time frame, this was our overall trend as in a buy. So if our if every if our candles stay in this trend, we're only looking for buys. The only time we would start selling is when our candles begin to break out of this overall trend. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so we're only looking for buys because we don't want to sell anything. You see how this was a massive sell? Yes. But we're not selling that. That is only your flag pattern. And if you're an expert trader, you can sell things like this, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for overall buys until this trend is broken. Uh huh. Because uh -huh. you don't want a counter trend. That's called counter trend. If you have an overall buy, but you're looking for sales. We're not looking for sales. We're looking for overall buys. And that's, mm -hmm. how, that's why I go down to the lower time frame.